Welcome to the public lecture in bariatric and metabolic surgery. The purpose of this educational program is to be aware that this is one of the most important health decisions of your life. The surgery is not for everyone who is severely obese and it is not the cure for obesity. It is a tool that is a part of your journey to achieve a healthy lifestyle. Surgery requires a lifestyle change and compromises. Surgery needs also a multidisciplinary team, such as internists, psychologists, nutritionists, and other specialists, not only a surgeon. The definition of obesity and morbid obesity is uh, by a classification called body mass index. So the WHO, the World Health Organization, defines body mass index as a weight in kilogram divided through height in meter square. If your body mass index is above 40, we are talking about morbid obesity and the surgery is indicated to treat this disease. Is your body mass index above 35? In addition to severe comorbidities like hypertension or diabetes type 2 or dyslipidemia, a surgery is indicated as well as and defined and stated in many societies such as the National Institutes of Health, the International Federation for the Surgery of Obesity and Metabolic Disorders and others. Why is obesity an epidemic? It is a multifactorial problem and a multifactorial disease, which is one hand a poor eating habit, less activity, and sometimes a genetic predisposition, in addition to other factors such as gut bacteria, port size, portion size, which are too big in many. Uh, parts and of course sweets and sweet drinks. If you want to have more information on that topic uh, you will find on YouTube under the keyword time to act on obesity much more information regarding that topic. If you want to make a decision in between surgery we have to uh, distinguish in between low risk procedures and high risk procedures procedures that are efficient or that are highly efficient. So therefore we are talking about endoluminal or surgery through the mouth where we do not need incisions or more invasive procedures such as banding, sleeve resection, bypass which we will talk about later on. The most common performed procedures worldwide are banding, sleeve and bypass while the so to say sleeve resection at the moment is in many countries the most performed procedure. Let's start to uh, talk a little bit about the adjustable gastric banding. The gastric banding is a silicone ring placed around the stomach on the upper part of the stomach and in addition the tube is connected to a reservoir. In this reservoir we can inject uh, liquid and if we inject liquid, you will see that the band is getting tight. It's getting more and more tight the more liquid we fill in, or it's more wide and open if we remove liquid. How do we control our weight? Our weight is controlled on one hand to control our food intake, that will mean uh, we should get full earlier. On the other side to control hunger and appetite and to have a look on what we eat. So that will mean sugar and high calories, uh, the absorption. If we bring this in relation to our band system, the restriction is a very effective. While hunger and appetite is not affected by the band, and in addition uh, to absorb and to tolerate fat and sugar or high calorie food, 
the band does not affect this. So that will mean chocolate and sweets are very easy to get through this narrow stoma. If we have a look on, a, so to say, gastric sleeve resection, we will remove the biggest part of the stomach. That will mean almost only 10% of our stomach will remain as a tube. If we have a look on our three criteria, the restriction, the hunger and appetite, and how we control the, the intake of fat and high calories, the sleeve resection is a really effective procedure to get full earlier and also to control appetite and hunger because we remove the biggest part of the stomach which produces hormones to achieve hunger and appetite. And in addition, uh, regarding high calorie intake, it is not extremely effective because we can still eat sweets and sugar and high calorie food. To have a look on a gastric bypass, we have two different kinds of bypasses, which we will focus a little bit later on, or in the specific uh, information and patient information lecture regarding gastric bypass procedures on YouTube. So regarding restriction and hunger and intake of high calories, the gastric bypass is very effective. In addition, it is very effective regarding hunger and appetite. And in addition, it is very effective uh, regarding absorption of high calories because food is going directly to the small bowel without passing the stomach. So we bypass the stomach and therefore we don't tolerate high calories. Regarding the decision making, we have a lot of criteria that will influence which procedure is the best for our personal situation. Therefore, a discussion with our uh, doctors, internists or surgeon is mandatory because it is a multifactorial uh, decision-making criteria. Just for instance, what is regarding uh, the wish of getting pregnant or what is uh, the problem if we have a big hyperhernia? Is a, a sleeve gastrectomy really indicated? Or what's about diabetes type 2? Which procedure is uh, uh, best in the decision? So it is a multifactorial decision that we should discuss with our doctors. Which procedure is best? Just to give you an example regarding the three most common performed procedures. The learning curve for the surgeon, for the sleeve, is much better than for the bypass. The bypass is a much more complex procedure which needs a more trained and more uh, experienced uh, surgeon in this field. While on the other hand, uh, what sweet eating is concerned, the gastric bypass is much uh, more effective. On the other hand, it is a non-reversible procedure. So have a look on specific in patient's information on YouTube regarding sleeve gastrectomy, gastric bypass or gastric banding procedures. We will focus more on those details in the specific lectures. When we are talking about surgery, we have also to talk, to talk about complications or unlikely events. Well, that will mean it could be a complication such as bleeding, either from the troca wounds, because all surgeries are performed endoscopically, not with a big incision, only small incisions. Uh, it could bleed from staples, from stitches. Staples uh, can also create leaks, anastomosis can create leaks. Or we have other uh, problems such as vitamin deficiencies, vomiting, pain, motility disorders and others. So in total, uh, we have to consider an unlikely uh, event rate of up to 15%. On the other hand, that will mean close to 90% of our patients will have no problems at all and will be without any 
complication or unlikely event. You might ask yourself uh, if you are really a good candidate, that you have asked yourself that you really want to change your lifestyle and you need a permanent assistant to achieve this change. You need an earlier satiety to achieve this. You should have realistic expectations of weight loss which is usually two-thirds of your overweight that you might lose. Not all your overweight will go on uh, automatically or by itself. You have absolutely to discuss, to talk to your doctor and to your nutritionist what is really realistic. And, and that is very important, you are willing to participate the follow-up recommendations such as regular visits of the nutritionists and specialists. If you are answering those questions with yes, you should really consult the center with a multidisciplinary team approach. Severe obesity is a lifelong chronic disease and bariatric surgery is most likely method to achieve a long-term weight loss and improvement in several serious medical conditions. Weight loss should be not at the expense of health and nutrition. And surgery is not for everyone who is severely obese. It is a personal decision that requires a careful weightening in between risk and benefits. The statement from the public health lecture of if so is obesity surgery is safe, it is not cosmetic and it saves lives. So if you want to have more information, please contact our outpatient clinic and book your information schedule either in Austria or in Dubai. I thank you very much for your interest.